Hey guys, uh, so in this video we're going to talk about WordPress coding standards and how you can install uh, these uh, in your Windows PC. So let's get started uh, with getting to know WordPress uh, coding standards. So WordPress coding standards are a rule set uh, for writing code in WordPress. They are basic coding conventions uh, which you can follow uh, in your writing uh, anything WordPress. The basic requirements for uh, WPCS is um, obviously PHP. I would recommend uh, PHP 7 plus uh, though the site suggests uh, PHP 5 plus would do 5.4 or higher and um, uh, obviously you'll need PHP code sniffer which we'll talk about later in this video and also uh, you'll need composer so basically composer is uh, if you have heard or may have used uh, NPM uh, so it's uh, more like same but for PHP and uh, you can simply install composer via going to the composer site get composer.org and uh, if you're on windows you can simply download its uh, setup installer uh, so uh, you can simply follow the setup uh, steps and uh, it'll set you up with the composer i do have composer installed in my pc and uh, we'll simply skip the installer steps you can just go ahead and download this x uh, file and install it yourself so yes um uh, Let's uh, go to the next step uh, where we are going to clone our WPCS uh, repository and install the coding standards. Let's quickly go through it. I'm just gonna fire up my terminal and uh, yes, uh, where is it? There is the standalone. Um, I'll, I'm gonna follow this uh, standalone steps for installing this uh, WPCS. So the basic thing you you'll need is PHP code sniffer after installing composer. Uh, we can simply install PHP code sniffer uh, by these following installation instructions and uh, that will be just composer global requires quiz labs PHP code sniffer and the star will be the value of anything the current version that will automatically fetch the value and do, do this for you. So I'm just gonna quickly install it globally. Uh, the PHP code sniffer and now uh, what is it gonna do is uh, it's gonna uh, install PHP code sniffer the very uh, first thing uh, we'll need for uh, WPCS so let's move on to the next step and which will be in the WPCS repository. Let's clone this. Let's copy the whole uh, command and uh, I would like to install it in my users folder which is my current username is Debs so I'm just gonna paste it here and yes uh, so what this will do is it's gonna clone uh, this uh, WPCS repo in uh, WPCS folder in, in this uh, uh, directory. Okay, so we have uh, just cloned the WPCS repo and we can head into a repo and uh, as you can see we have this uh, repo cloned out here. So uh, the very first thing you can do is uh, after cloning this you can simply uh, set the configurations to the installed uh, folder where you have uh, cloned this WPCS. Let's see if we have PHPCS uh, in the terminal in the path added or not so phpcs is not yet added in the path so what we're gonna do is we're going to add uh, phpcs in the path let's see the phpcs repo so yes um, I gotta make sure there it is the default value is this let's see where our composer uh, has installed the php code sniffer yeah so it's in devs app data roaming composer vendor bin so we're just gonna go into that folder there it is there's the folder where composer has uh, installed uh, so I cloned uh, the PHPCS and I'm just gonna 
add this in the path variables yeah. okay simply search for uh, system properties and you will get there or search for uh, in the windows search uh, environment variables you will get here and now click on the environment variables you can see the path here and just click on add it and uh, simply click on the uh, new button and paste the uh, absolute directory for the composer vendor bin uh, in this case it is composer vendor bin for windows okay let's apply this and see if we have php cs available or not okay let's just restart the command line cool and we do have php cs uh, in the uh, command line working because it is added in the path cool so let's go to the new pcs and uh, set the configurations to the installed path where we have installed the WPCS and we have cloned it in the users folder in devs and uh, in WPCS we have it over here uh, sorry in WPCS and right okay so this is the folder okay let's just simply go through this copy this and paste it let's uh, paste the path where we have cloned WPCS and yes okay so uh, the configurations have been added to the PHP CS and we can see let's see in the okay that does so we do have it installed here it is uh, wordpress wordpress core wordpress docs and wordpress extra so all the configurations have been added and uh, yeah we can simply go to the next step where we're gonna configure uh, vs code uh, to use wpcs and wpcbf so we already know um, sorry uh, phpcs and phpcbf uh, only the configurations will be set to wordpress i'm just gonna sum it up for you guys uh, what cvf does uh, cvf is a code fixer so like uh, if you have um, anything um, wrong or like may have done it wrong uh, following the wordpress coding standards it will automatically fix it for you whichever coding editor you're using um, in this case we're going to configure it for uh, vs code so let's get to it which is gonna open VS Code and uh, install the extensions for PHP CS and PHP CVF and then configure them to use uh, the WordPress configurations. Coding standards, yeah. So, okay, let's get to it. PHP CS, there it is. PHP Stiffer. That is, uh, remember to install the PHP CS for uh, like via uh, Ionis Kappas and uh, the PHP CBF one will be PHP CBF. Come on, PHP CB, PHP CBF by uh, Per Soderland. Right, let's do this one. Cool, so we have uh, our extensions added. As you can see here, recommended, not recommended to install extensions, and there are the install extensions PHP CVF and PHP CS. Uh, let's configure these. So, mm, let's just copy these uh, default settings, and we have just copied them, and let's go to settings. So what I've just done is uh, uh, added this uh, single line that is workbench dot settings dot editor uh, uh, set to JSON, and that what that does is uh, configures the VS Code to set the settings UI to the JSON format because um, it's uh, basically I've been uh, using the settings uh, with JSON format like from a long time, and I'm not very comfortable with the UI thing, so. Uh, I like to use it in the JSON format so you can simply do so and uh, I'll just gonna remove this and 
go with the VS Code normal format again with the UI1 and set it to JSON. How you can do so? Go to the workbench uh, after like going to settings and then workbench. Uh, go to the settings editor and then where in the settings editor you can see the uh, editor option. It will uh, have two options UI and JSON. You just have to select JSON and it will automatically set it for you. So after setting that, you can see the settings uh, is coming in JSON. Let's add those uh, PHP CS values. Uh, so there they are. Remember uh, to add uh, a comma uh, at the every uh, step, like at the end of every line, because uh, the JSON format works that way. So what we are setting is uh, the first line is PHP CVF dot enable, which is set to true, which makes uh, PHP CVF uh, enabled by default. And the second one is executable path. Either you can go with this uh, or uh, uh, the bat files where we have cloned. I would suggest going for the bat files. Uh, bat files are available at where we have cloned uh, our WPCS repository. So there they are in the sorry in the okay. So first you have to install the uh, install this uh, repository via composer for it to work. Just to have the vendor file let's just go through it just install it composer install so yeah it did uh, install the 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 WPCS uh, repo I mean the whole composer requirements so uh, you will have the vendor files now in vendor you can see in the bin we have the bat files for php cvf and php cs uh, so we simply have the php cvf uh, configurations over here we can simply copy the php cs ones as well let's just copy them and uh, configure both of them yeah that is php cvf dot enable default is set to true so we don't need to add that because default is set to true uh, second is executable path we do need to add that one so let's we'll simply just do this and Let's add this at the very first thing. PHP CVF and we're gonna add the executable path at here. For now let's just leave it blank and add the next thing. The next thing would be the standard, obviously. Uh, let's leave it null for now. Cool, so uh, that'll be it for PHP CS and uh, we do have PHP CVS configurations enabled over here. Yeah, okay, so uh, PHP CS uh, has uh, uh, this executable path. Both the extensions will have this executable path line where you can uh, add the exact uh, bat file where you have uh, the WPCS cloned, and the repo cloned. After installing the repo's composer file, you'll have this uh, bat files over in to vendor bin. And let's just copy the directory and let's copy this again and do the same for this one let's set to true um, php cvf dot on save uh, true uh, what this does is automatically uh, format is your uh, php code uh, when you save the file Let's set the standard to WordPress now. Remember to keep the P capital in this WordPress. Uh, so for example, let's test any given PHP file and see if it is working or not. And, and let's paste it down here and in documents, save it as index.php and save as type on fast okay so uh, the formatter works in this way so um, you can uh, for shortcut keys you have shift plus alt plus f or you can just right click on the mouse and then format document this will automatically format it for you. Uh, see this down below at the very bottom of the VS Code. 
uh, you'll see PHP CS linter it'll automatically start linting for you and this will detect the problems this there it shows the problems and uh, the this format thing will automatically uh, turn up the PHP CBF and it'll format the PHP uh, file in the WordPress format or whichever configuration you have set in the PHP CS and PHP CBF configuration so yeah that does it for you um, I wish you guys a happy WordPress coding and uh, let me know in the comments if you need any help regarding this or anything WordPress uh, yeah have a happy day or night <laughs>